You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Baby. Hmm? Hello. Um. I think they said she'll be going back to school next tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So how much is her school fees this time? It's a hundred and fifty thousand naira. Okay. And she said um, her house rent is expired. She needs to renew it. All right. How much did we pay the last time? Her house rent was uh, two hundred fifty thousand naira. So let's say. Five hundred thousand naira is going to cover up for everything, including her food stuffs. Okay, all right. Thanks, baby. Thank you. Mm, I love you. I love you too, mom. <laughs> and again, baby. Yeah. I have a wedding for the end of the month. Okay. And we we are buying our CBB. Oh. Yes, um, it's going to cost 200. 200 naira. Babe, it's 200 naira. Uh, even if it's handkerchief for this country now, you can't even see it for 200 naira. What are you saying? How much is it, babe? Baby, it's 200,000 naira. And I. I want you to buy for two. Why? Baby, it's it's mother. You, you, you know she, she isn't married and her, her new job is not fast paying. So I I I, I told her I would I would beg you to pay for hers. Please. Okay. It's okay, I'll pay. You're going to pay for two? Thank you so much, baby. Mm, I love you so much. Mm, you never said no to me. I love you too, yeah. Thanks, honey. I appreciate, okay? Yeah. I love you, silly. I love you too. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, baby. It's okay. I appreciate this. <laughs> I'll do everything for you, okay? I know. And I'll do everything for you too. I love you. Forever. Love you too, yeah. Forever together. <laughs> <laughs> and let me just let me I'm coming, let me get to the living room. Baby, why, why are you sweating so hard? The AC is uh, no. on. Yeah, it's okay. Right. Are you sure you're fine? I'm I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. But why are you going to the city? No, I'll, I'll join you soon. Let me just. I need you right now, okay? Oh. I'm coming. Okay? Alright, baby. You sure you're fine? Yeah. Alright, honey. I'm waiting. Yeah, sure. Oh my god, baby, thank you so much. Let me call this witch. Okay. Madam Pick now. Hi, witch. <laughs> Good news. My husband has accepted to pay for two Ashobi materials. Of course. <laughs> yes, he never says no to me. Amen, amen. God will keep blessing him. <laughs> All right. Okay, sis. It's fine. Amen. Thank you. Bye. Good night. <laughs>
What's the problem, sir? Are you okay? Uncle Joe. I'm fine. I'm fine. So are you alright? Nothing is alright. Nothing is fine with me right now. Everything is upside down. My goods are with the customs. Mama needs a kidney transplant. And you are expected to go back to school in the next two days. My wife, your sister, needs money for Ashwabi and that of her friend. In all of this, I do not have up to a hundred thousand naira in my bank account. Is my sister aware of all this? No, she's not. You know how she your sister can be. No, Uncle. You need to speak with her. She is your wife. She can't be demanding for Ashebi when you have pressing issues to attend to. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had the courage to speak with her, but I cannot. Uncle Joe, you know I can help you do that. That is, if you don't mind. No, no, I mind. I mind, you don't have to speak with her. I would. I'll talk to her when the time comes. Uncle Joe, you see, every man goes through difficult times. But it is your ability to stand tall over the situations that matters. Uncle Joe, I believe in you. You're a strong man. And I am confident that you're going to come out of all this. Okay, just be strong. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uncle Joe, you need to go and sleep right now, please. It's it's late. You need to sleep. Okay? It's okay. You can run along. You can go sleep. Okay. Good night. Good night. Make sure you sleep. It's very necessary. Okay? Good night. Monday is tomorrow. Yes. And my husband hasn't given me your school fees and house rent money. So, don't worry. He already gave me the money. What? Yes, he did. But he surely does that through me. Well, maybe he did not want to disturb you this time. Bye. Take care of yourself, okay? Mm. Mama? Don't forget what I told you. 
Yes, ma. Take care of yourself. Oh, very sure. important. Uh, I know. <laughs> Sister. Bye bye. Bye bye. May God be with you. Thank you, Mama. When I'm going to come back, send my regards. Okay. Bye bye. Mommy. Hmm? Why would my husband give her money directly? Stella, don't bother yourself. Hmm? You bother so much. It's fine. Hmm. Give her money without letting me know. Give her money? My sister, of course. I, I, I don't understand. What is there not to understand? Um, I guess she's talking about the money you give to her sister for school fees and rent. School fees and rent, right? Mm. Oh, babe, I... Well, I just decided to give it to her this time around. Really? I see. This is the only thing you feel like doing differently in this house. Babe. that um, she felt pity for you after having that conversation with her last night. So she decided to go back to school without anything until things get well with you again. But I did not give that girl a dime. I know. She's just trying to be considerate. Uncle Joe. Isn't it? Thank you. You are welcome, sir. I will never forget what you did for me today. I promise you, I will never forget it. It's fine, Uncle. Take care of yourself and my sister. Miracle is on the way. Amen. See this this mother case that I've been we have been working on. Yeah? That case is eating me up for I, I swear to God. I mean when it looks like we are almost close to closing the case, you just need some new evidences from nowhere coming. And then boom, we're starting all over again. Yeah? 
it's really eating me over. I mean, I've not been on any case that has been this stressful for a very long time. I don't know what else to do with that case. Though. I don't tire for that case. It's eating me up. Eh? Hi. As in, eh? If I feel serious, I take him on my hand for that case. I for don't you move on, Tete. So I don't feel like you. I'll find a guy. Where you go? Wait a I mean, where, where did you go? Where were you? Which I will say where, where I go. Don't be high this things. Which kind of talk? I go say you did here. I am very sure you didn't hear a thing from the whole thing I have said here. Eh? What's wrong now? What's in the happen? What's it in New York? My brother. Situation just the just just tire me. Everything is is draining me. I'm sapping all my energy. What is it? Is it about your good side and mother surgery? It's been one month, my brother. Yes. It's been over a month and nothing has happened. Over a month. And nothing has happened. The commission has given me an ultimatum. Supply those computers by the end of the month or we will award the contract to somebody else. Where am I supposed to get 12 million naira from before the end of the month? <clears throat> so, true. True. Over true, my brother. Where? What about the ring? What ring? Stella's ring, your wife. Okay, what about it? Bro, that ring is worth 30 million naira. Remember now, don't you buy them? You can get that, you can put that ring up for sale and you know, get an upward of amount of about 20 million or even more. With that, you will sort your problems with the customer and you know, do mama's surgery. At ease. I think now. Yeah. Use your head. Steve, we'll wait to. <laughs> wait, so all this pra 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 way they talk. Are you in any way suggesting that I should sell my wife's wedding ring? That's exactly what I am saying. I, I, I put water for mouth to the talker. Where did this idea come out from? Oh, well, from a brain that is uh, seeking solution for his friend. Steve, I know you're concerned about me. Hmm? Thank God you know. Yeah, I know that, but please, don't go there again. Don't talk that kind of thing again, I beg. One no verse for you, I just go beg you. What, what, what? Don't go there again, I'm telling you. Why, why, would you say, why would you tell me not to go there? Why would you even suggest? Why would you open your mouth to tell me that I should sell my wife's wedding? Do you know, do you know what that ring means to her? Why not if not? You can't be here killing yourself while your wife is having solutions to your problem on her finger. Think now, you know be Dundee now, you know be dollard now. Think. I mean, we can sell that ring for a good amount of money. You fix your problem with the custom. Do mama's a, 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 a surgery. And still have, you still have more change in your pocket to, to sort all that problems. Eh? I mean, if you, if you let her decide that you want to get her another ring, you can do that from the money you make from your supplies. You know, there's no fair support that your 30 million in that ring go. But if your mind tells you say you want to still do that kind of nonsense, you will fix still do them. But first of all, use what you've got to get what you want. I mean, fix yourself, fix your problems. Okay. Some be, 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 be your wife does to your wife that. Okay. Let's say I buy this weird idea of yours. How am I supposed to convince Stella? to part with her ring. You and I know how much she prides herself in that ring. We don't really have to convince her. I mean, there are ways we we'll go about these things. All we need is a decoy ring. 
a decoy ring. What do you mean by that? There's this guy I know in town who can, you know, make exact copy of anything you give him, anything concerning jewels. All we need is to get a picture of this ring you have, or you know, if you tell him about the ring, and he will make the exact copy. I mean, if they bring this ring and the fake, she will find it difficult to even differentiate between the two. I bet you she will not even find out. She will not know. Swap this thing, sell the other one, get the money, solve your problems. If you have excess money, you think you want to get another ring, you buy another one. Besides me, I know first support that your 30 million era ring. But if you think you want to replace it, it's fine. You get the money from your supply, you do that. completely safe. I just needed to hand something over to, to Joe. <laughs> What's yeah. that? Oh, it's something um, just uh, guy yeah. stuff. Guys, you know that kind of thing. <laughs> With business. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Yeah. That's good. Okay. So. You won't invite him to have breakfast. Ah. <laughs> but babe, you know I'm not stingy. I of course I know. Yeah, so ask him to have breakfast. Okay, um, Steve, please. You have to sit and wait for 10 minutes to join us for breakfast. Um, I mean, I really wish I could wait, but I need to run along. There is something I really need to attend yeah, to. You mentioned, you mentioned what, what, that. It's just 10 minutes. Uh, uh, that's a long time for me. I mean, you know my job. <laughs> yeah, bro. So, bro, I'll right. see you. I'll no, see no, you no, later. No, no, right. no. Nice one. Thank you. No, no sure. issues. No right, sure. Hey, how is uh, Mama? Oh, Mama, I'm sure she's still sleeping. Yeah, you know she hardly is. sleeps at night, so oh, yeah. she sleeps almost when it's morning. Oh, I see. Yeah. I mean, that's okay. That's mm -hmm. fine. And um, Stella, you... you